tonight, a story of success at Sacramento State. The week long pro Palestinian encampment now cleared after protesters reach an agreement with the school's president. What our job is as educators is to listen and then to lead. And so we listened to what the students' concerns were across all kinds of different communities, and now we're being responsive to that. Sacramento State standing in sharp contrast, as we've seen to other college campuses that saw those violent clashes over the war in Gaza. We're playing that video for you right now. Thanks so much for staying with us here at 530. I'm Hunter Sowers. And I'm Curtis Ming. So how did Sac State keep the peace? Your reporter Madison Keeby covering Sacramento County is live with the interview you'll see only on CBS 13. The key part of this interview, Curtis, is President Luke Wood taking us in some of those backroom conversations that made it all happen. Calls for Sacramento State to divest and disclose the school's investments answered. Our policy is about war, death, and desolation at a broad level. The school's president, Luke Wood, explains how it happened without violence, arrests, or canceled graduation, even though the policy doesn't mention Israel specifically. We want to make a statement about the world in general. Wood gives his take on what made this encampment stand out from the rest for all the right reasons. You know, part of what I think here was different is we spent a lot of time with our students before our encampment took place and with all different types of student communities. But then we were also there and engaged with them when that was happening. Free, free, free Palestine. For a little over a week, a group made up of mostly students camped in the quad. Wood says at Sac State and likely other campuses, students typically aren't the problem. It's usually people who come from outside the university, our beloved community members who are very passionate but don't really believe that because they're not students here, they don't have to worry about the student code of conduct. What about the community members CBS 13 spoke to associated with the encampment? Woods says it stayed peaceful even with non-students there. When that is involved, then you pull the students aside and say, I'm not here to listen to what our community members have to say about these issues. I'm here to understand what it is that you want to see. Now, Wood was also asked about other outside influences. Think about donors and politicians. I mean, we are in Sacramento. This is part of the CSU system. He says while he takes into consideration maybe potential concerns that his focus is the students and the health and well-being of the campus here, and that he's not really all that concerned with what they are thinking, you guys. His focus is what's happening here at Sac State, not everything that's outside of that. And as you can see, they are moving towards graduation with graduates behind you taking those photos, those ceremonies still on, at least at Sac State. All right. Thanks so much for that, Madison. And of course, we're going to hear.